Hey guys, Josh with the Adept Ape channel, and in this video, we're going to be having kind of a fun thought experiment about something I've been thinking about for a year now. And that is, how can you turn a 3406 or a C15 into a almost 1,000 horsepower engine with stock parts? Is it even possible? Now, there's lots of guys that have aftermarket turbos, injectors, a bunch of aftermarket parts. You know, you can take the horsepower up to whatever you want, but I'm talking about using stock parts. And the basis for this is an engine that's already out, and what it's called is a C18. Now, you might be thinking, okay, C15, C18, you know, they're smaller engines, C7, C13. Well, the difference between, let's say, a C13 and a C15 is they're totally different engines. They don't really use any of the same parts. And a C15 and a C18 are actually the same engine to some extent. The block's basically the same. They use the same head bolts. They use the same main bearings. The physical length height of the engine is the same. So if you were to have a c15 already you could put a c18 or potentially turn your c15 into a c18 and it would make a lot more power and how much more well let's look at the specifications so anytime cat builds a new engine they dyno it and this is a marine c18 that they had dynoed and what you're looking at is the horsepower rpm uh oil pressure basically all the stats of the engine. And you can see that it makes 1,000 horsepower at 2,300 RPM. And it also makes 3,035 foot-pounds of torque at 1,600 RPM. Now, this is a marine engine. Marine engines typically make more power than their on-highway uh, counterparts, but let's look at an on-highway one. So this is an on-highway C18. And you can see this one was rated at 950 and it made 932 horsepower at 2100 RPM. And it also made 2,404 foot-pounds of torque at 1400 RPM. You can see the torque down here. So it's not just higher horsepower, it's also much higher in torque than any of your stock 3406 or C15 variants. So... Let's discuss the C18 a little bit more than the C15 because I've made a video on the C15, or several of them actually. And the C18 is obviously a bigger displacement engine. The bore is only 0.3 inches larger than the C15, but it's 0.7 longer of a stroke. So it's more stroke than bore of a C15. The bore and the stroke on a C18 are 5.71 bore and 7.2 stroke. Now, normal C15, at least the 14.6 version, is 5.4 bore and 6.5 stroke. Now, that's not the only reason it makes more power. It uses, obviously, bigger injectors. You're going to have a different camshaft, different cylinder head, different packs, different crankshaft. Basically, everything would have to be changed out. So, obviously, the easiest thing to do would be to just get a C18. And Cat makes these full version they put them in fire trucks generators marine applications uh they're in a wide variety of items they didn't make tons and tons of them but if you could pick one up it would actually fit wherever your c15 is now i'm not saying this would be cheap obviously you'd basically be getting a whole new engine and i'm not also saying that you should do this is probably break parts transmission drive shafts things like this uh, I'm also not saying it's fully EPA compliant, but a lot of guys are adding, you know, power adders, things like that. It, this is kind of a thought experiment. So let's talk about a couple other things that are different between a C18 and a C15. Now, why would an engine that's only three liters more displacement make almost twice as much horsepower? Well, the compression ratio hasn't changed. It's only about 16.5 to 1, which is about the same as a C15. The main difference is they've moved the torque curve and the horsepower curve up more. So on a C15, your max torque is usually around 1,200 RPM, and max horsepower is at 1,800 RPM. And if you look at the C18 data sheet here, your max torque is at 1400 rpm and your max horsepower is at 2100 rpm so your 
as you increase, if you can get an engine to go higher in RPM, even if the torque doesn't change a whole lot of that RPM, you're going to make more horsepower. So these engines will actually go higher in RPM and make more horsepower at higher RPMs. So that's a lot of the reason they're making more horsepower. But obviously you have more displacement, and these are also twin turbo. Now, they're not the normal twin turbo you might be used to seeing on your C15, where it is a we'll say series setup where you have air going from one turbo into the other one. These use a turbo that has one turbo on the front three cylinders and one turbo on the back three cylinders. Now, you might be saying, well, how practical is this? Like, you know, how many guys are actually going to do this? Is anyone going to do this? Well, I'm not saying you should do this. I just thought, you know, if you have a 3406 or a C15, you know, a lot of guys read car magazines, and they're not going to add 14 turbochargers to their daily driver, but it's kind of a cool thought experiment to think about, and I thought you guys would enjoy the video and at least learn a little bit more about something called the C18. All right, let's get into a little segment I like to call... So since we're talking about C15 variants, this is a C27, which is basically a V12 C15. And this big engine was brought into our shop and had some problems. This is the oil pump, and that's the drive gear on the front, and you'll notice it doesn't have any teeth on it. Well, that wasn't the only problem with this engine. This was the oil pan. There was uh, more than a little bit of metal in the oil pan. This is the crank gear. Uh, most of the gear train had been damaged. And here's what the main bearings look like. They had actually gotten so hot they had split. So, thought you would enjoy the destruction of the week. Thanks for watching the video.